In this discussion, you can see how to use no update attribute in XML side and especially in Odoo tag. So what is the purpose for this attribute and why we need to use this attribute? We will see the real test case in this discussion. In case you missed previous discussion about how to remove multiple records using XML file, like using a delete tag with the search condition, you can see that link in the description. And right now we are working in the Odoo data file and this is the YouTube channel and you can see here all the playlist. If you click to this playlist, right now we are working in this playlist like Odoo data files part six. And if you are referring this main channel like Odoo version 13, version 40 development technical training like Odoo part one, then you don't need to refer this playlist. If anyone want to learn more about a specific topic, then you can refer only the specific playlist. For example, like if you want to learn more about the CLI commands and DevOps tutorial, then you can just use this one. Then after for the available data types or the fields in Odoo, you can see this playlist then after if you want to see more about the methods and default ORM methods then you can refer this one and some supported attributes and very useful attributes uh, for the model level attributes you can see here in this playlist. Also you can see the Odoo examples. One more thing is for the editor related tutorial you can see here and uh, for the Python related topics which this is not for a basic one, but you can see here like how you can create XML file or PDF file, you can merge PDF file, you can split the PDF file, then after how to create a CSV file, then after JSON file and all this, all this topic is very useful during your career. So you can use this one also. And if you want to see more about uh, more about channel you can go to here and you can see the website then after facebook page linkedin page then after if you if you want to contact me for the business query or if you need a small help you can just shoot your query to here in this email and uh, if you want to donate you can have a donate options also and uh, we have this source code for this git repository you can see like this so right now we are working in this add-ons uh, let's back to our main topic like how we can add attribute like a no update attribute in xml file if you are following this channel might be you will understand easily or oh, let me try to explain one more scenario uh, let me go to here in student profile in data and let me open the student underscore data file if you see during the one to many how we can add a one to many field in xml side to create a new record so that time I already explained like if we will not comment this part then we have an issue like it will always create a new record while it will upgrade the module for example like if you are upgrading 100 time then 100 time this record will create but if you want to stop this one or like not only this one but if you want to stop upgrading each records what you mention here like from top to the end then you can just use no update one because the no update one is only the main key or you can say like main attribute you can use here to prevent the update part let me uh, give you some more overview try to explain you like how we can use that part like let me create a new file of the xml student no update example dot xml file and uh, like 
XML, UTF-5, then after Odoo. In here, for example, I will create one more record for the student. Student no update. EG, EG means example. Then after model, like here I will use like student profile model and let me add here the name student no update this is the student name right now we mention let me copy some fields okay and uh, yeah right now we are using like by default school selected as a school underscore six and let me add here like no update one only we need to use this attribute in main odoo tag we don't need to use this attribute in record level or field level we have to use only in this main xml tag like the root tag the root tag is the odoo itself and here in B side we have to use no update equal to one that's it let me add or like we have to register this file here data student no update example dot xml okay let me go to first here in front end side and let me go to here in student profile you can see total 19 record is available but you cannot see that uh, newly created record here like you can't see like student no update right now let me go to here in terminal let me restart the service first let me upgrade the module school underscore student Okay, so you can see successfully upgraded this module. Uh, let me refresh the page. You can see 20 record is here for the student profile and you can see student no update and the database ID is 287. So what is the difference between this profile and like for example this Jethalal profile. Let me see here for the jet halal profile and let me go to the view metadata here you can see here right now we have xml id is cool underscore student have like student underscore five is the id of that xml and this jet halal record is created from here but you can see here the no update this field is false like user can change anything while upgrading the module but if we see here in record number 14 like student no update and we are open the same like view metadata now you can see here like database id then after you can see here the student no update eg is the xml id and now you can see here no update is true no update true means like uh, while upgrading the module like this record especially this record will not going to update anyhow if you are forcefully update content or if let's say you just added one more field and now you are trying to upgrade it won't be update this field so let's try for example you can see here to hobbies is only like six hobbies there like I want to just update this hobbies from the backend side so let me add like I'm going to here and let me copy this one and let me paste here oh 
sorry. Okay, now updated. So hobby three, hobby seventeen, hobby four, and hobby one, I selected. But uh, might be you confused if you if this is the first time you see like this because this is the hobby underscore three or hobby underscore seventeen is the ID of the specific record which is mentioned in CSV file or in XML side. Same as like this. If you have this one, then might be you confused. Okay, which ID or which student is that but you can see like this is the student name so same likewise you can see like hobby underscore 3 we have to check here in hobby list like hobby 3 is a gym so if you see in front end side like gym you can see here so by the like if we assign the gym then it will by default it will tick here the checkbox is checked so it means like for this student no update having a gym as a hobby so right now we are doing this update for the record purpose so let's say like I added like this as usually like we are just upgrading the module that's it we don't need to do anything right now so let's see if this hobby underscore list really exist really update in front end side or not so let's see let me see I'm going to here okay let me go to again in student profile and you can see here there is no any single changes but if I will go to in uh, Jethalal for example and you can see here total three hobbies selected in backend side so let me go to here let me open you can see one two three and four is there but why only three is available because so we already delete those records while upgrading the module but let me remove this hobby underscore three all right and let me save and let me upgrade the module and let me go to here in front end side and now you can see I'm just switching the record okay so now you can see the gym is unchecked it means like while upgrading the module you can see the update query is fired but for this student like student no update in this situation we already added this hobby after the record creation it means like it's it won't be update this record while upgradation time so this is prevent the updation part in the backend side so this is the main purpose like uh, you can see like no update equal to one by default it's a false so as usually while upgrading the module it will update the record but sometimes you have a question in your mind like let's say I added Haryom like this and I upgraded the module and I'm switching to one more record and let me back to the student no update you can see and you can see here also upgraded this module but still like uh, you cannot see the new changes which I done in the XML side like student no hurry on right so the main purpose is like this like you cannot update your record in the backend side the question is like is to provide to roll back this change yeah of course it's you can change but the thing is you have to remember this id like the xml id and you have to go to here in the settings in the technical part and here you can see the external identifiers you have to go to here and you have to find this key and you can see directly this record here 
now simply you have to do is you have to just uncheck this one cell okay so now we are going to in python pycharm editor and uh, here like we have to remove this tag cell and uh, like here let me upgrade the module first and i'm going to the specific record either you can click to this or you can click to this record many to one relational field then you will just redirect to the student patch okay so now you can see like student no hurry on is updated as well as you can see here the hobby list also updated and if i'm going to here in view metadata you can see the no update as a false because we already updated in front end side as a unchecked we marked as unchecked so that's why like that's the reason like while upgrading the module so o to c if this flag is true then we don't need to update these specific records for that specific xml side so that's the reason like odo provides this feature like no update equal to in uh, double quote as a one so i hope you understood this feature and in case you have any query please comment below and see you in next session